congregations in our culture have really bought into the fountain of youth. Uh, many of us make a living as consultants on those fears, right? Those hopes of keeping the doors open. And many of you have poured countless hours as leaders and consultants in the churches to help them find new vibrancy and life. There's nothing wrong with that. But sometimes churches just need to die. I know that's a controversial statement, isn't it? We don't even like to think in those terms. Personally, we do the same thing, really, as we experience the, the diagnosis of a fatal disease, right? When, when, when we go to the doctor and the doctor says, listen, I'm sorry to tell you, but you're going to die. We go home and we begin to, to go over in our minds, you know, is there, is there a cure? Uh, has anybody else survived this? What can we do? How long do we have to live? Personally, we do that. Congregations do the same thing. When they find themselves in a scenario and it doesn't look good, it's really bleak, they begin to ask questions. Listen, has any other church gone through this before? What did they do? Do we need to hire a consultant? Do we need to get a new pastor? Maybe we need to build a new building. Maybe we need to move the ministry. What do we do? How long do we have? How long can we make it? Let me ask you a question. Could more be accomplished through the death of a church than through its continued existence? That's a tough question, isn't it? That's a tough question. Jesus died on the cross, right? We have a theology of death here. He died on the cross that we might receive the forgiveness of our sins. Without that death, there is no forgiveness. Jesus did not see his death as a failure, but rather it was part of a plan. You know, we are in a, we are in a crisis in, in America today. Honestly, we look at the church, and, and I love hearing what Mark said. Uh, we're, we're in a crisis where churches are closing every year. Just to give you a little bit of statistics, uh, Tom Rainer just came out, I guess, a couple of weeks ago, and he was estimating anywhere between 8 and 10. But some of the latest research they've estimated is that between 30 and 40,000 churches over the last decade have closed their doors for good. 30 to 40,000 churches have closed. Okay, so let's just use 40,000 for the sake of the conversation. 40,000 churches closed over the last 10 years, which means 4,000 closed in the last year. That's 333 every month. That's 77 every week. That's 11 every day. Before you lay your heads on your pillows tonight and say goodnight and go to sleep, 11 churches will have closed their doors for good. That's a fact. What do we do with that fact? We either plan or we panic. I would say I think we need to plan. And I think sometimes the greatest thing that we can do and the greatest turnaround strategy we can offer a church is to help them develop the process of leaving a legacy for future generations.